Hi, I'm Josh Romero, and this is The Full Spectrum. Nuclear missile silos and bunkers probably aren't at the top of your list of summer vacation spots, but that's exactly where Sharon Weinberger and Nathan Hodge went to research their latest book, A Nuclear Family Vacation. Spectrum editor Sally Aidy has more. We've always had this sort of curiosity about sort of nuclear weaponry and the nuclear complex. These were places where they sort of demonstrated their, their nuclear might, but, mm -hmm. but there were never any real exchanges. That's the way we like to think of a travelogue of a, of, a, of a war that never happened. Vegas is the perfect sort of launching point for any nuclear vacation because not only do you have the Nevada test site, they even have still the old bleachers where they used to invite the press and people used to go out and picnic. You know, during the era of atomic testing above ground, and, and you know, and watch the mushroom clouds. Nuclear tourism has encouraged in the United States and other countries, even Western countries, not so much. Where did you guys have the most fun? <laughs> as far as vacation destinations, uh, Kwajalein and the Marshall Islands are, are pretty unbeatable. It's very remote. That being said, I wouldn't want to spend more than two weeks out there. I think that you would probably go nuts after. Well, a while. in a sense, it's, it is the Gilligan's Island thing. It's like a, it's, a, it's an island paradise but it, you're sort of stuck there. You will occasionally visit a place like the Greenbrier Bunker, and it does not disappoint. Greenbrier is a sort of old world, stuff like out of Dirty Dance, it's an <laughs> opulent resort for the well-heeled, very beautiful grounds of golf courses and, and tennis courts, and um, basically there was a congressional bunker there. They do bunker tours, and it's just a wonderful thing, and it's fun, and you get this element of Cold War history. Where did you have the least good time? Russia. Russia has many wonderful things to offer tourists. It has beautiful cities, I'm sure, but for the nuclear tourist, I would say that Russia probably is a very difficult place to visit. For Sally's full review of a nuclear family vacation, check out iCoverly Spectrum online or pick up a copy of the magazine. For the full spectrum, I'm Josh Romero.